Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automatic sanitization. So, let's look at the example first. Automatic sanitization. The sanitization process should run for 10 seconds when the door is used four times. So, in this case, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also use some memory bits. We will also implement latching in this example. Moreover, we will also use timer that is pulse timer. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for automatic sanitization. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221 C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221 M16RG by TM221 C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASC II TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMH2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMH2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. I can also click on this option to unset full screen mode. So for now, I will set the full screen mode. 
and then I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as unlock button. Simply, it will open the door and then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0 and then I will latch it here so I will insert one more normally open contact and then I will connect it like this. That will assign address to this normally open contact as M0. So when the door is opened, M0 will get activated and when the door closes, M0 still remains true. And then I will add a new rank and I will insert one more normally open contact I will assign address to it as M0 and then I will insert a normally closed contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0 and then I will insert a coil I will assign address to it as M1 So when M0 is true and the door is closed, then M1 becomes true. And then I will add a new rung here and I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as M1. And then and I will insert one more normally open contact here. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. And then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to it as M2. And then I will add it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and connect it like this. I will assign address to it as M2. I will also latch it to here M1 here and connect it like this. I will assign address to it as M2. And after that, I will add a new rung and I will insert normally open contact, then a normally closed contact. I will assign address to it as M2 and I will assign address to this normally closed contact as I. 0.0 and then I will insert a coil. I will assign address to it as M3. I will also latch it here. I will assign address to it as M3 and then I will connect it like this. I will add a new rung and insert normally open contact. Then again, one more normally open contact. 
and I will assign address to this normally open contact as M3 and then I will assign address to this normally open contact as I0.0 which is the unlock button and then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to it as M4 which is again a memory bit and then I will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and connect it like this. But let's assign address to it as M4. And then again, I will add one more rung. And insert normally open contact and then normally close contact. I'll assign address to it as M4 and address to this normally close contact as I0.0, which is the unlock button. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to it as M5. And then I will add it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact. And then I will connect it like this. I will assign address to it as M5. And then I will add one more rung. And here. I will insert normally open contact and then again one more normally open contact and then a coil. I will assign address to this normally open contact as M5. I will assign address to this normally open contact as I0.0 .0, and I will assign address to this coil as M6 and then I will add it here so I will insert one more normally open contact and connect it like this so I will assign address to it as M6 so When first time the door is opened, that unlock button is pressed, the door is opened and M0 gets true. And then when M0 gets true, then the, the door is closed. So M0 is true and door is closed, then M1 becomes true. And then again, when M1 is true and the door is closed, sorry, the door is opened the second time, then M2 becomes true. And then when M2 becomes true and the door is closed, then M3 becomes true. And then when M3 is true and the door is opened third time, then M4 becomes true. And when M4 becomes true, and the door is closed, then M5 becomes true. And when M5 becomes true, and the door is opened fourth time, then M6 will be true. So these memory bits store the data. This M0, this M0 stores the data that the door is open first time. And then this M1 stores that the door is locked and then the door is the door is opened and then the door is closed. And then we will use this memory bit to turn on this M2. That is M1 stores that the uh, stores the data that the door is once open and the door is B open second time 
So this M2 stores the data. And then this M3 stores the data that this M2 is true. That is the door is open two times and now the door is closed. And then this M3 which stores the data that the door is uh, open two times and then the door is being open third time. This M4 stores that data. And then this M4 which stores the data that the door is open third time and now the door is closed. This data is stored by this M5. And then this M5 is storing the data that the door is being opened three times and now the door is being opened four times. This data is stored by this M6. So we will use these memory bits that is M0, M2, M4 and this M6. We will use these memory bits to carry on the sanitization process. That sanitization process will be done only when the door is open four times. So these memory bits are storing the data that the door is being opened first time, then second time, then third time, and then four time. So we are using these memory bits M0, M2, M4, and M6 to start the sanitization process. So we will add a new rank here and insert four normally open contacts. For M0, M2, M4, and M6. And then I will insert a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0, then M2, then M4, and then M6. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to it as Sanit. Sorry. Sanitizer. Yes. So this sanitizer will be open for 10 seconds. So I will insert a timer here that should be pulse timer TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10 and then apply. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program and I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So so when the first time the unlock button is pressed, then M0 and M1 becomes true. And then when the door is open second time, then M3 and M2 becomes true. And then when door is being opened third time, then M4 and M5 becomes true. And then when the door is being opened four times, then the sanitization process will start and it will be for 10 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.